Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Dr. Derek De Silva. As always, it is a pleasure. Cramping in your legs, how do you separate the difference between a leg cramp and what is called peripheral arterial disease or intermittent claudication? Cramping at night, when you're sleeping at night and you get a cramp, well, it has nothing to do with exercise or with activity. That is a calcium or, and or a magnesium deficiency. The, uh, the difference in what is called peripheral arterial disease is you go out for a walk. You're walking your dog or you're doing something outside. And all of a sudden, as you're walking and as you're active, you get a cramp in your leg and the leg just cramps up. What you need to do at that point is you sit down, you rest, and the cramp goes away. And you can continue to do your activity. That is called peripheral arterial disease. That, the difference in that is if you've got blockages in the arteries in your legs, there's a, because the arteries in your legs are, are about the size, a little bit smaller than my finger, but the arteries in your heart are about the size of a cord. They're, they're probably about this size. So there's a big difference between the two. If you've got a blockage in an artery in your that is about the size of your finger, you're likely also going to have blockages in the small arteries within your heart. So if you ever have a problem where you get these cramps when you're walking, get yourself to the doctor and make sure that the doctor also checks your heart. Very important that you separate the two. Thank you very much for joining us.